Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Jeshur Lecoultre Amvox 2 Titanium DLC Limited Edition of 500 pieces. You can see and you can purchase this Titanium DLC coded vertical trigger pusherless chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and actually complete pricing details for this Amvox 2 Chronograph. Now, when this watch came out in 2006, it was an absolute sensation. Completely new. It's a concept no one else had explored, and only Jezure LeCoultre succeeded in industrializing in any number. A chronograph without pushers, an articulated case, pivoting on ball bearings. The idea was you could fat finger the chronograph by tapping it at 12, tapping it at 6, to start, stop, and reset, even while wearing racing gloves. The end of tight little screw down crowns and pump pushers. This system actually works, whether you're a driver in the heat of the moment or a fan track side. Now, the fit on my wrist is quite agreeable. Although it is a large watch at 44 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the crown, the titanium construction and the short, tightly down turned lugs mean that the watch wears compact. So you can see 15 millimeters thick. It does have a nicely stepped transition from the case flank to the box section sapphire, a very complex and expensive piece to assemble by the way. So it will slide underneath certain tighter sleeves or cuffs, perhaps not the absolute tightest, but this is a watch designed to be seen, not cloaked. Now the lug to lug measurement is quite reasonable, about 49.5 millimeters from extremity to extremity. It's always the shape of the lugs, not the diameter of the case that determines how a watch is going to wear, and the lug to lug dimension, the horizontal span across the wrist. You can see how short short and close cropped those lugs are, the watch really does wrap itself around the wrist to the point where I would say if your wrist is as small as 14 and a half to 15 centimeters, you can wear this watch with security and style. The smaller end of that spectrum, 14 and a half, you'd have to have more of an oval than a round profile. The watch is nice and light on the wrist thanks to the titanium construction, and it has a wonderful upgrade from one of its successor models. Now, the original variant of this strap was Bridge of Weir leather. It was very plain, minimally defined. It had a monotone stitch folded edges, and it didn't have the texture, the color, color contrast or the material contrast that the later Amvox 2 DBS chronograph would boast. Here you're getting a DBS strap. You can see the combination of textile and leather beautifully perforated with a red contrasting stitch, very substantial as you can see in profile, with semi-contoured curved spring bars to create a more coherent aesthetic and trace the arc of the case. This is a Jezure LeCoultre strap and it is from the DBS. It is by the account of most Amvox 2 owners a major aesthetic and tactile upgrade over the standard strap from the original Amvox 2. Now you can see a polished titanium double folding clasp, nice and secure on the wrist. It allows you to avoid accidentally dropping the watch while donning or removing it bedside. And for aesthetic coherence, it has a DLC coated clip so that it maintains a nice low profile and there's tonal consonance with the case. Now the watch does feature a complex case design. You can see there's the center case, the lugs, the mechanism itself pivots on ball bearings, and the case is fully articulated. Let me show you how this works. You, you start, you stop, and you reset by pushing the case at its extremities, 12 and 6. Now there's a slider on the case flank. So for instance, if you don't accidentally want to start the chronograph, pushing the slider to the top will avoid accidental starting of the chronograph. And now let's say you want to start the chronograph, but you want to make sure that in the heat of the moment you don't accidentally reset it. You set the slide all the way to its lowermost position, and now you've frozen out the reset. You can't accidentally break the chronograph. Now the watch does have other refinements, including five ATM water resistance. That's no small consideration on a case that has more through fittings and seams than a minute repeater. The fact that this watch has any water resistance is extraordinary. Now, of course, Amvox the voice of Aston Martin. Aston Martin had a partnership with Jezure LeCoultre from 
2004 to 2014 to produce watches inspired by the company's joint history. What is that joint history? Well, since the 1920s, Jaeger dashboard instruments, clocks, tachometers, and speedometers were featured in Aston Martin cars. So unlike many shotgun marriages of watch brands and car marks, this one actually had a real history that existed independent of co-branding agreements. So the dial itself features a template based on Aston Martin vintage tacks and speedos, which is why 270 degrees of the dial is calibrated, and then the lower 90 degrees is left uncalibrated or largely uncalibrated. You can see that there's depth just like the concentric circles and scales of a dashboard instrument, you have that same treatment, but wonderful texturing, different planes of focus. You can see how this dial really changes the eye level, as well as opening up a little bit of the mechanism. You can see the ball bearing pivoting chronograph hammers at six o'clock, and we'll go back into full access mode. You can see these hammers operating as I actuate the chronograph. Now, of course, to read the chronograph, you have chronograph seconds at center, you have an hours disc at 9 o'clock, chronograph minutes at 3, fully luminescent, the discs glow like UFOs at night, and Calypso style hands inspired by a small run of Italian market Polaris 68s from the golden era of the dive watch. You have matte and metallic tones on this dial, and although the numerals themselves are dark in coloration, they do feature the rare black variant of Luminova, so suitably charged, the entire watch dial is fairly visible at night. Now, if you look off axis, and you can just barely see it from this angle, there is a ghosted Aston Martin winged logo on the dial at six on the black center disc. It basically disappears unless you're looking for it really hard. So all the co-branding is nice and subtle. Now the watch features a vertical clutch mechanism in its manufacturer caliber 751E chronograph movement, which means that this watch, which does not feature a constant seconds dial, can simply be left running. So you can have chronograph seconds at center running continuously. So you have minutes, hours, and seconds at center for easy reading. Now the column wheel ensures crisp actuation. It's that traditional crenellated wheel that operates the levers and the horns of the chronograph mechanism, and unlike a cam chronograph, you can feel it and you can hear the difference. Twin mainspring barrels, 65 hour power reserve, vertical clutch column wheel, unidirectional winding with ceramic bearings for high efficiency, and a free sprung balance for durability. I can tell you from personal experience, I own an Amvox 2 in the standard buff titanium. This is a very efficient winding timepiece. If you're the type to live a sedentary lifestyle at desk side, this is a chronograph you can wear that is not going to run down. Give it whatever scraps you can, it will wind itself robustly. And if you do choose to keep the chronograph running, again, even though there's no constant seconds, Jezur LeCoultre included a hacking mechanism so you can hack your constantly running chronograph seconds and a quick set date so you can wrap it cycle the watch should it run down. You can see and you can purchase this extraordinary, virtually unique vertical trigger chronograph, the Amvox 2 Titanium DLC, limited edition of 500 on our website.